Sustainability. You either love it or you hate it. I'm Phil Loring, and this is the Learning to Think with Sustainability web series. In this episode, we're talking about complexity, one of a handful of threshold concepts that are essential to sustainability. Threshold concepts transform the way we understand the world. When many people use the word complexity, they simply mean that something is hard to understand. But that's not quite right. Complexity is about the relationship between the pieces of a system and the behavior of that system. But first, what's a system? Well, systems are everywhere. In our bodies, when we bake bread, and when we're trying to send astronauts to space. Systems are just collections of things that interact, each kind of thing with its own rules and behaviors. Think about it like this. There are three kinds of systems. Simple, complicated, and complex. Some systems are simple, like a game of billiards. It has generally similar components that follow a few simple rules and the outcomes are additive. With the right measurements and mathematics, you can predict each shot and each outcome. Complicated systems are more like a game of mousetrap. They're made up of lots of dissimilar parts, each with their own rules and behaviors. The outcomes of a complicated system are still additive, but much more time intensive to predict. And finally, we have complex systems, like games of Go or chess. Like simple systems, complex systems usually only have a few kinds of components that follow a handful of simple rules. However, it doesn't matter how well you know the rules in a complex system because the outcomes are not additive. They're emergent and hence unpredictable. That's because the behaviors interact in a way that creates feedbacks, like an escalation of aggressive strategies in chess. So each game invariably plays out differently even if the players start with the same few moves. Here is a video of a complex system. It has similar system components, the Scotty dogs, and one rule, get some milk. The outcome, this pinwheel pattern, is created by an interaction between the rule, getting milk, and the shape of the bowl. The outcome is emergent and very difficult to predict. To borrow words from Aristotle, in a complex system, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Feedbacks are another key feature of complex systems. A feedback is wherever the behavior of one piece of the system influences the behavior of another piece of that system. Consider again the game of chess. If the opponent switches at some point in the game from making mostly defensive moves to something offensive, like putting an important piece at risk, our chess player would be wise to also change their strategy in response. That is a feedback. You can also think about feedbacks as information, as a difference that makes a difference. If our chess player is paying attention, if they receive this information about how their opponent is playing and then decide to play more aggressively and then the other player also gets more aggressive, that's what we call a feedback loop. However, if our chess player is not paying attention, if they are uncoupled from the system, they miss this important information and are likely to lose. Feedbacks explain lots of things. They explain why our bank accounts grow over time from interest. They explain why melting sea ice in the Arctic is accelerating global warming. They explain why fish and game populations rise and fall in response to changes in food availability and hunting and fishing pressure. So feedbacks are among the best tools that we have to achieve more sustainable systems. If we don't have information about environmental practices on farms or about how livestock are being treated or about the status of a salmon fishery, we can't change our strategies. That's what local food movements are trying to achieve shortening the distance between producers and consumers to improve feedbacks. That's also what certifications like the Marine Stewardship Council and Fair Trade are trying to achieve, to increase our ability to access and respond to information about the social and environmental impacts of our food. And that's what collaborative natural resource management is trying to achieve, putting power back in the hands of local people who are more coupled to the ecosystems around them. Next time you're observing something in the world, I encourage you to look for the systems that are just under the surface. Once you start seeing them, I guarantee you'll see them everywhere. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next episode, which explores the role of knowledge and the importance of multiple ways of knowing for coping with this complex world. 
and remember to subscribe for updates on all of our new content.